Of course, the content of films in Bollywood are full of drama, but you don't always know the drama that occurs behind the scenes. The highly successful biopic MS Dhoni The Untold Story was privy to some of this behind the scenes drama. During the shooting of the film, tensions were high between Mr. Dhoni and Neeraj Pandey, the director of the film. Dhoni only wanted himself portrayed positively and was very vocal about cutting scenes from the film. This frustrated Mr. Pandey so much that he actually threatened to walk away from the whole thing. Fortunately, the film was completed and it has seen great success in the box office. The new film Bepikar starring Ranveer Singh and Bani Kapoor was shot in record time. The full film was shot in only 50 days. Needless to say, the cast and crew hustled to meet the deadline. The film had the stunning background of the city of Paris, and everyone worked extremely hard shooting five days a week. Hopefully, the hard work will pay off. We will all find out when the movie releases on December 9th. After the Yuri attacks, media has been ablaze with the news that certain films were being scrutinized because of their association with Pakistani actors. It has been confirmed that certain states have actually banned the film. Edil Hemushkil and Bollywood is split on their reaction. At the Filmfare Style Awards that were held recently, many celebrities expressed their opinion on the matter. Many thought it was unfair to punish the film industry for a film that was made a year prior to the events in Yuri, when the political climate was calm. Others were very involved in their own lives and successes and chose not to comment on the issue. Let's hope that a peaceful compromise can be reached. In Edil Hemushkil, you can say there's a scene that can be called the slap that was heard around the world. Although it was all done in the spirit of making the scene as believable as possible, Ranbir Kapoor is not amused. Anushka slaps Ranbir not one or two, but three times for the scene to seem more real. Anushka is known to get really into her roles, but Ranbir is not happy about the scene she chose to give her most to. The two are good friends off screen as well, so this can just become a big joke between the two once Ranbir's pain subsides. Kapil Sharma is the beloved comedian of Indian television. However, his recent conflicts with the government have got him in some hot water. He became vocal about some bribes the BMC demanded for his Andheri office. This brought attention to him and some illegal construction that was done on his Bursova office. He has now approached Bombay High Court for relief of this trouble. Whatever happens, we know Kapil will not go down quietly. There has been talk of tension between one's very good friends, Gajal and Karan Johar. Many thought this could be attributed to the release date of Shive, Gajal's husband Ajay Devgan's film, and Karan Johar's Adil Hemushkil. However, Ajay confirms it's something different. Ajay admits the tension is not due to professional circumstances, but something personal. Something that is so hurtful both Gajal and Ajay don't have a friendly relationship with Karan anymore. Ajay did not want to elaborate on the issue, but it can be assumed that it has to do with the negative publicity Karan Johar is allegedly involved with. In media, a name can mean a lot, and Irfan Khan is challenging this notion. He recently dropped his surname Khan before the release of his hit film, Ban Singh Tomar, and he argues his film was no less successful. Irfan doesn't believe that the great Khans of Bollywood only saw their success due to their surnames. His statement by dropping his surname speaks volumes, especially since his first film after the drop saw much success. And his statement makes sense. A Khan by any other name would still act as sweet. Priyanka Chopra is seeing much success professionally, but her every move is being watched. She has felt heavy criticism for something as simple as her choice in t-shirts. In a recent magazine cover, Priyanka was wearing a t-shirt that reads Refugee, Immigrant and Outsider, crossed with a red line leaving the word Traveler. Simple enough. But her choice is not making her fans very happy, as it can be interpreted many ways. And one way is to say she's insensitive to those words. But Priyanka owned her mistake by offering a public apology. Celebrity battles have become pretty common through social media these days, and Bollywood is not immune. Shots were fired by Manish Mahotra towards the lovely Anushka Sharma. Why do these two have beef? It all has to do with the beautiful lenga worn by Anushka in Edil Hemushkil. Of course, the designer of the extravagant lenga weighing a hefty 17 kilograms was none other than Manish Mahotra. When Anushka took to her Instagram to show off the beautiful gown and share her woes of how mushkil it was to move around with the added weight, she failed to mention the designer's name. For other stories, like our Facebook page and watch more Bollywood updates.